Hi children welcome you all to the session today's class we are going to continue exercise 2.3 you can take page number 30 in your ncert textbook you can refer the question from your textbooks actually this exercise is based upon how to solve the equation having variables on both the sides so what you will do you will arrange all the variables towards one side and constants towards other side then you will solve it this is what we have done in our previous class also the same way we are going to solve few problems here okay children now we are going to continue exercise 2.3 we are going to start with our sixth problem last class we have discussed till fifth problem right what was the topic we have discussed in the last class it is to we are going to solve the equations which contains variables on both the sides so here also we have variables on both the sides of the equation equation means what it will be having a equal to sign with the variables and constants so shall we start to solve it solve means what we are going to find the value of the x right we are going to find the value of x now shall we start the solution for this question yes what is the solution in uh, if you want to solve this uh, type of problems what you will do you will arrange all the variables to one side and constants to other side right so here actually the equation is not a simple equation what we are just going to do is we are going to convert that because we are going to remove this bracket and we are going to make it as a plane okay so shall i start 8x plus 4 i am writing as such because there is no bracket here equal to since 3 into x minus 1 so 3 is common for x as well as 1 Is it three is common for x as well as minus one, so we can multiply three with x as well as with one. So three into x, three x, three into minus one, minus three, then plus seven. Okay, so now this this looks like a normal equation, right? Actually, while seeing this equation, it is somewhat complicated because we have a bracket with it. So what we are just going to do is we are going to remove this bracket and we are going to make it very simple for our convenience. Okay, now three into x, three x, three into minus one minus three. Did you understand how I have multiplied? Because three is common for both the values. Now I am going to bring all the variables towards one side and constant towards one side. So shall I bring this three x to that side and plus four to that side because variables all one side, right? So eight x plus three x. If it go that side, it becomes minus three x. Then what is there remaining? Minus three plus seven is remaining. So plus four. If it go that side, it becomes minus four. Is it correct now? Because see, listen, eight x. 3x I am sending this side it becomes minus 3x. Next plus 4 I am going that it I am bringing to that side it becomes minus 4. Already what and all it is there minus 3 is there plus 7 is there plus 4 if it go that side it becomes minus 4. Now 8x minus 3x is 5x is it correct? Yes. Now minus 3 plus 7 it is. What it is different sign. So what you will do? You will subtract it. Seven minus three is four. Or uh, actually, what you will get? Plus four. Okay. Seven mi minus three plus seven. You will get plus four. Plus four minus four. This remaining is there, right? Plus four minus four will be there. Now five x is equal to plus four minus four is zero. Is it now? X alone we want, right? So shall I bring this five to that side? Yes. Up x is equal to zero divided by five. X is equal to what? Zero divided by five. So any number, which means zero divided by any number, is zero. So what is x value? X is equal to zero is the solution. X is equal to zero is the solution. Is it? Did you understand? Shall we check it and see? Because they ask you to verify it, right? So we are going to check this, check the answer. So shall we start with the verification? 
Now for verification, what and all we want? LHS we want, RHS we want. We want the LHS value and RHS value. If both the answers are correct, then our solution is correct. Now shall I take the LHS? What is my LHS? 8x plus 4. Listen, 8x plus 4. 8x x value is what? 0 plus 4. 8 into 0 is 0 plus 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. What is my final answer? LHS value is what? 4. Now RHS. 3 into x minus 1 plus 7. 3 into x minus 1 plus 7. Now 3 into x is 0 minus 1 plus 7. x value is 0 minus 1 plus 7. Now 3, 0 minus 1 is what? Because we should do the operation inside the bracket. 0 minus 1 is minus 1 plus 7. 0 minus 1 is minus 1 plus 7. Now 3 into minus 1 minus 3 plus 7. 3 into minus 1 3, 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 plus 7. Now minus 3 plus 7 is plus 4. So RHS value is what? Plus 4. So LHS and RHS both the value have same answer. So shall we say LHS is equal to RHS? Therefore X is equal to 0 is the solution for the equation. Understood children? How, how First we should solve this and you should make a simple equation then bringing all the x towards one side and constants towards other side and we are finding the value of x which is the solution of this equation. Then we are going to verify it. Understood? Next is your seventh question. Seventh question is also somewhat complicated because what it has? It has a bracket with it. So shall we uh, solve without brackets? Yes. About x is equal to 4 by 5x plus listen I am going to multiply 4 by 5 with x and 10. Okay. Now 4 by 5 into x is what? 4 by 5x. Next, 4 by 5 into 10 is what? That we are going to find it separately, okay? If you find it separately, you can, uh, don't want to get confused with when, when you are doing it in the middle, okay? So, 4 by 5 into x, 4 by 5 x. Now, 4 by 5 into 10, 4 by 5 into 10, 4 by 5 into 10, right? What I am just doing is, I am going to cancel this, right? 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10. Apo? 4 2s are 8. So what is the answer after multiplying 4 by 5 and 10? I am getting 8 as my answer. So, so shall I write the 8 uh, in uh, directly? Listen children. 4 by 5 into x. 4 by 5 x. Plus. Because plus is there. 4 by 5 into 10. 4 by 5 into 10. 5 1s are 5. 5 2s are 10. Now 4 2s are 8 is the final answer. So instead of multiplying these two I have written 8 directly. Now, now it becomes a simple equation. So, what shall we do? Shall we bring the variables and all towards one side, right? So, x minus 4 by 5 x equal to 8. Because 4 by 5 x, if it go that side, it becomes minus 4 by 5 x. Now, this is x, this is x. Here, nothing it is there. So, shall we take LCM? So, 1 x, uh, always x means what? 1 x, right? 1x how you will write 1 by 1x minus 4 by 5x is it x means what 1x 1x how you will write 1 by 1x minus 4 by 5x equal to 8 now denominators are different so LCM of 1 comma 5 equal to 5 now shall we change this 1 by 1 how I will make it in terms of 5 into 5 into 5. So 1 by 1 will become 5 by 5. So shall I write 5 by 5x minus 4 by 5. I want to make in, uh, in terms of 5. So 5 1s are 5, 4 1s are 4. So 4 by 5. So 4 by 5 will become 4 by 5x equal to 8. Okay, did you understand till this? Next, what I will write? I will write 5 minus 4x. 
divided by 5. 5 minus 4x because listen, here denominators are same. So, I am considering only the numerator. So, 5 minus or you can write 5x minus 4x. What I have done, I have taken the x outside. So, 5 minus 4x divided by 5 equal to 8. Now, 5 minus 4 is equal to 1x divided by 5 equal to 8. 1x how you will write? x by 5 equal to 8. Did you understand this? 1x how you should write? 1x means x divided by 5 equal to 8. Now, shall I bring this to 5 to that side? So, x is equal to 8 into 5 because it is in division. If it go that side, it becomes multiplication. So, x is equal to 40. 8 5 are 40 is the solution. 8 5 are 40 is the solution. So, shall we uh, verify and see? Yes. Verification. For verification, what are all the things we want? I want LHS as well as RHS. What is my LHS value? X. LHS is what? X. So, X value is what? 40. LHS value is what? 40. RHS. What is my RHS value? My RHS value. Now, shall we take what is RHS value, right? So, what is RHS? 4 by 5 into x plus 10. 4 by 5 into x plus 10. So, shall I write? 4 by 5 into x plus 10. Right? Now, 4 by 5, x value is what? 40 plus 10. Okay? Now, 4 by 5, 40 plus 10, 50. Now, 4 by 5 into 50, right? So, shall we cancel 5 1s are 5, 5 10s are 50. Now, 4 into 10, 40. So, what is my RHS value? It is 40. LHS and RHS are same. Therefore, X is equal to 40 is the solution. Understood? This is very easy problem, children. Kindly do it step by step. Then you will get a correct answer, okay? Next is your 8th problem. 8th problem whether it contains any bracket? No. So, shall we start like as usual what we done? Yes. Now, I am bringing this variable to that side and constant to that side. Okay. 2x by 3 minus 7x by 15. Correct? Because this is a variable question. This is variable question. So, I have combined it. Now, 3 minus 1 plus 1 goes that side it becomes minus 1. Okay. Now, shall we start do it? Yes. Now, whether our denominators are same? No. What shall we do now? LCM of 3, 15. What we are going to do? We are going to do the LCM of 3, 15. 3, 1 is 3. 3, 5 is 15. Now, 5, 1, 1. So, 3 into 5 is 15. Okay. So, what is my LCM value? It is 15. Now, shall I convert this 2 by 3 in terms of 15? Yes, 3 5s are 15, 2 5s are 10. Now, 7 by 15, I want in terms of 15. So, 15 1s are 15, 7 1s are 7. So, instead of 2 by 3, what I have made? 10 by 15. Instead of 7 by 15, what I have made? 7 by 15. So, shall I convert, shall I write now? 10 by 15x minus 7 by 15x. Is it 10 by 15x minus 7 by 15x equal to 3 minus 1, 2. Now, both the denominators are same, right? So, shall I write 10x minus 7x by 15 equal to 2. 10x minus 7x is 3x by 15 equal to 2. Now, shall we cancel these two? Yes, 3 1s are 3, 3 5s are 15. So, what you will get? X by 5 equal to 2 you will get. Now, shall I bring this 5 to that side? Yes, so X is equal to 2 into 5 because it is division. If it go that side, it becomes division. X is equal to 5 2s are 10 is the solution. X is equal to 5, 10 is the solution. Now, shall we do the verification? Yes. What is the verification for what we, uh, what and all we want? LHS and RHS. What is my LHS? 2x by 3 plus 1. Is it? 2x by 3 plus 1. What is my x value? 
10 divided by 3 plus 1. 2 into 10, 20 by 3 plus 1. 20 by 3 plus 1. Now, 1, how can I write 20 by 3, 1, 1 by 1. Is it correct? Now, both the denominators are different. So, LCM of 1 comma 3 is 3. So, what I want denominator is 3. So, 20 by 3, I want my denominator is 3. So, 3 ones are 3, 20 ones are 20. So, 1 by 1, I want denominator as 3. 1 3 is 3, so 1 3 is 3. I have written. So, instead of 2, 20 by 3, what I will write? 20 by 3 plus 3 by 3, 3 by 3. Now, my denominator is 3. So, 20 plus 3. 20 plus 3 is 23 by 3. What is my LHS value? 23 by 3. Okay. Now, what we should find? We should find the RHS. Now, what is the RHS value? 7x plus 15 plus 3. So, what is RHS? 7x plus 15 plus 3. So, x value is what? 10 divided by 15 plus 3. 7 into 10, 17 by 15 into 3. So, into 3, not plus 3, sorry, plus 3 children, plus 3. So, I have written plus 3 here. Now, 5 3s are 15. Five 14s are 70, okay. Five 14s are 70, okay. Now, what is the answer? 14 by 3 plus 3. So, 14 by 3. 3, how I will write 3 by 1. Here also LCM of 1 comma 3 is 3. So, what I just want to do, I want to convert this 14 into 14 by 3 in terms of 3. So, 3 ones are 3, 14 ones are 14. Then 3 by 1, I want my denominator as 3. So, 1 3 is 3, 3 3 is 9. So, instead of 14 by 3, I will write 14 by 3. Instead of 3 by 1, I will write 9 by 3. So, now shall I write it? Yes. Now, next page I am going to turn. So, what is the values we should write? 14 by 3 and 9 by 3. That alone you keep it in your mind. Okay. So, 14 by 3 plus 9 by 3. 14 by 3 plus 9 by 3 is what? 23 divided by 3. Okay. So, answer RHS value is what? 23 by 3. Therefore, LHS also you are getting LHS also 23 by 3. RHS also 23 by 3. So, therefore, X is equal to 10 as the solution. X is equal to 10 as the solution for the equation. Understood children? Next is your ninth question. Ninth question, whether it has any uh, brackets to solve? No. So, we can directly do the uh, conversion, right? So, this constants we can bring that side. This variable we can bring this side. So, 2y minus y, if it go that side, it becomes plus y. Is it correct? Now, 26 by 3 is there. Plus 5 by 3 go that side, it becomes minus 5 by 3. Do you have any doubt in this? 2y minus y if it go that side it becomes plus 5. 26 by 3 minus 5 by 3. Now 2y plus y it is 3y. Now both have same denominator. So shall I write like this? Yes. So 3y equal to 26 minus 5 is 21 by 3. Now shall I bring this 3 to that side? Yes, upper 23 divided by this 23 by 3 into 3. I already told you if it is in like fractions now, if this multiplication, if it go down, it becomes division. So, you should write it in denominator. Okay, now y is equal to 21 divided by 3, 3 is 9. Shall we cancel this in third table? Yes, 3, 3 is 9, 3, 7 is 21. Upper y is equal to what? 7 by 3 is the solution. 7 by 3 is the solution. Here actually the unknown variable is what? Y. In previous problem all we were deal with X, T like that. Here the unknown variable is Y. Shall we do the verification? Yes. For verification what you want? LHS. What is my LHS? 2Y plus 5 by 3. Is it? 
2y plus 5 by 3. So, what is y value? 7 by 3 plus 5 by 3. Is it correct? Now, shall we multiply? 2 7s are 14 by 3 plus 5 by 3. Both the denominators are same. So, shall we add the numerator? 14 plus 5 is what? 19 by 3. Is there any possibility to cancel? No. So, LHS value is what? 19 by 3. RHS value. What is RHS? 26 by 3 minus y. So, 26 by 3 minus y is what? 7 by 3. Here both the denominators are same. So, shall we subtract the numerators? Yes, 3, 26 minus 7. 26 minus 7 is what? 19 by 3. So, RHS value is also 19 by 3. Therefore, y is equal to 7 by 3 is the solution of the equation. Understood? This is very simple question, children. Do it very uh, step by step so that you can get the answer. Then your 10th question is your homework. Okay, children? Here that m is the unknown variable. In 10th question, M is the unknown variable. Okay, children? Today's class, we have discussed about exercise 2.3 from 6th problem. Then till 9th problem, we have discussed. Then 10th problem is your homework, which is, which is the same method which we have taught today. I hope you all understood, children. Thank you.